still director red. Two painters in a studio, one uh, nearly world famous, working on the biggest commission in the history of New York art in the late 1950s. The younger painter, an apprentice, doesn't really know what he's there to do. And the play takes place over two years and we watch an evolving relationship between mentor, mentee, older generation, younger generation. What I love about Rothko is you can't really say here's his journey. And that's partly, that's part of the reason is because uh, he's very mercurial. He does turn on a dime. And there's so much, from the moment the play begins, uh, I think hopefully when, we're, when we have it in front of an audience, there is some sense of something very personal going on with this guy. I think the play, I won't say that the play requires patience from the audience. I think it requires attention. And I have to say as someone working on the play daily as the director, therefore it requires my attention as well. And, you know, there's a thing in, in, uh, that Rothko talks about, what he, what he wants from people is, he actually wants a viewer of his paintings to get 18 inches away. Now, some of those are enormous. So the instinct, of course, is to step back. But Rothko actually wanted the opposite. He wanted you to step forward. He wanted you to get 18 inches. And part of it was, is he wanted you to see nothing else but this painting. So that in your peripheral vision, if you're close enough, these paintings are big enough, you can see nothing else. So in a way, I feel like that's what the play is asking the audience to. Come close. Don't sit back. Don't step away from us. He also was a very emotional artist. His paintings, especially when you're in the presence of him, not describing, but living with his process, it's deeply emotional. 